Hi, uh, my name is Raji Rajagopalan. I am the director of the Center for Security Strategy and Technology at the Observer Research Foundation. I'm here to talk about the current research that I'm doing on India-China uh, nuclear relationship, uh, the current nuclear expansion of China, and what does it mean to India in terms of its own deterrent calculations. <music> So I would say India-China nuclear relationship is fairly stable at this point of time. Uh, both countries have had a fairly small, modest nuclear arsenal uh, that's also tied to an NFU posture, the no first use policy. Um, so in that sense, it has been fairly stable. Uh, neither of the countries, neither of the leadership talk about the potential use of nuclear weapons, even in the, in the middle of a conflict. Uh, the two countries have had multiple uh, border confrontations. Uh, in fact, the two countries are in an active conflict even as we speak at this point of time. But neither of the leadership have talked about using nuclear weapons, unlike in the case of Pakistan, for instance, uh, where at every possible conflict where there has been a terrorist attack and India is contemplating uh, possible options, uh, different Pakistani defense ministers have talked about the use of nukes. Here, that has not been the case, so I would say it's been fairly stable. And I think India expects China also to play the role of a um, responsible nuclear power and not really engage in loose talks about use of nukes in a sense. Of course, China's nuclear expansion, especially over the last three years, is concerning. But I think more concerning would be if China were to walk out of its uh, NFU posture. Given that there are uh, unresolved border and territorial issues, uh, with fairly frequent border confrontations, uh, China walking out of its NFU policy could put India at serious risk, and I think that would be uh, that would be the most gravest uh, sort of a gravest concern for India from an Indian perspective. It's not so much the expansion per se that's going to be the problem, but I think the uh, walking out of the NFU will be a problem. China's nuclear expansion and possible departure from its NFU policy, these are all concerns. But I think uh, what India is looking at, if you're especially looking from a nuclear escalation perspective, I can look at it two different ways. One, despite the fact that the two countries are engaged in border conflicts, neither side has ever talked about use of nukes. They have not really, they don't really think nuclear weapons are going to come into play. So they don't see, it does not appear that the two countries are looking at an escalation from a conventional to nuclear pers uh, nuclear conflict. That's one. Second escalation, I look at the arms race escalation, for instance, um, because since India has not shown any particular uh, concern, um, it, it does it has concerns, but it has not responded in any significant manner to China's nuclear expansion that we are seen, seeing in the last three years, and therefore it, one can't say that Pakistan is going to respond and so on and so forth, and then it sets in motion. Um, sort of a uh, action reaction sort of a, a spiral in South Asia or Southern Asia. Since India is not responding in that fashion, I don't think that escalation uh, risk is there. But I think what could um, bring in the escalation risk is one, China walking out of NFU. Second, even within the Chinese NFU policy, China is looking at developing first strike options. I think those are scenarios that could bring in very unstable condition in Southern Asia and particularly in the India-China context as well. Thank you.